the new age does not belong to them. The new age does not belong to them. You see, part of the trick, right? Part of the trick is mental magic. If they keep saying new age, new age, new age, new age does not belong to them. In order to enter into the new age, right? Because there's a race for the new age. But the delay in the full manifestation of the new age is because of a lack of grace. See, grace is necessary to enter into his new age and the true new age. So new age doesn't belong to them. It's, it's similar to the word Illuminati. Even if we were to go a little bit further and say the word Lucifer, one's called the one who has no light, Lucifer, and they call he who has light black and ugly. You see, they condemn the black, right? They, 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 they ridicule the black. They mock the black. But yet it is dark matter and, 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 and black energy, black matter that they don't understand. And they get to recognize that it's, it's, it's the majority of all that is. It's what holds everything together. The, the very, the very scientific so-called explanation of dark matter really explains what melanin really is, right? Melanin. And when we speak about melanin, we're not just speaking about superficial melanin. We're not speaking about just melanin and the fact that black people are melanated, in other words. But we're speaking, when we're talking about dark matter, dark energy, we're speaking about spiritual, metaphysical matters, matters that are metaphysical and matters that really matter. And now the connection with dark matter and this new age and the prerequisite of grace and gracefulness is, is the key. It's the key. So we must become conscious of that. You see, because there is there is a mental, psychological, we can say, there's a there's a psych out going on concerning the new age. Because people say, oh, we gotta stop the new age and the new age. It's interesting because the new age, if you were to Accept the the Bible based on its inherent message and not follow after a bunch of men and people and, and deceivers and, and false prophets and, and liars, you will recognize that the new age belongs to Christ. But you see, the world is in crisis because they don't know who Christ is. And, and, the God of this world, yes, there's a God of this world, which is not the God nor the Father of our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Is the God of this world. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them who don't amen, who don't accept as true and faithful, who, 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 who don't accept the truth, who don't admit in the truth, who don't trust the truth because the God of this world has blinded their minds and the, it's the God of this world. It's, it's the fallen angels and the principalities that the Ethiopic book of Enoch, the Ethiopic book of Enoch, if they, if they didn't have that book, much of what they are speculating on, they could not speculate on. You see the Ethiopic book of Enoch was preserved amongst that remnant people. In other words, amongst our people, the Ethiopian Hebrews. And, and the knowledge in that book is ancient knowledge. And if you study that book, and I like to do a lecture and, and a study on that particular book, if, if time permits, because many of these things are time sensitive. Most of our children should have already learned about that before their 12th, 13th birthday. Now, if you haven't been able to do that because you're just learning about these things now, don't feel no way. 
Don't feel no guilt. Don't feel no condemnation. You see, it is a spiritual war, right? Our, our spirits are involved, our souls, our feeling, our thought, our emotion. This is why you're going to hear me say even more so concerning the practical application, the practice. The practice makes what? Perfect. And if no perfectness, is because there's no practice. So most people are in a so-called religion of, I call it speakeasy, right? It's a speakeasy religion, but it's not a, a practice religion. You see what I'm saying? This is why we can find a so-called Christian nation like um, Benito Mussolini fascist Italy invading an ancient Christian nation. And the difference, right? The difference really is based on righteousness, right? That Italy invaded Ethiopia because it was stimulated by unrighteousness because they were blind, right? Their, their hearts and their minds were blinded. And that should have been an example. That was one of the most significant things, significant events, more important than World War I and more important than World War II. And it's right around that time that the first token, the first fruits of the Addis Zemin, the New Age, was sold. You see, the New Age, the true New Age was sold in 1930. So the new age does not belong to the evildoers. The new age does not belong to the pseudo Illuminati who are disilluminated. They are disilluminated because the light shines in darkness. Right? And darkness does not comprehend it. That darkness is not blackness. That darkness is ignorance of the true power and potential of the blackness and this is key that black people that our people that many of us have been led to believe before we had our eyes open before we were born again we were led to believe the lies and deception of the deceiver until we thought that nothing good can come from nazareth nothing good can come from blackness and now we begin to learn that was the whole point of the story. See, the whole point of the story is concerning the half of the story that hasn't been told. So the new world order, right, and the new age does not belong to them. Who it belongs to, it belongs to us. But the key is grace.